All right, I see some names I recognize. Give me a thumbs up if you can hear me okay. Cranking in, all right, we're getting to 100, close to 100. 100 it is, all right, not bad. See how high we can get this. All right, I love it. See lots of names I recognize, it's good. It's good, we're looking forward to it. Um, I am very evident that I need to paint my garage floor because the gray paint is ripping off, but uh, it's all good. So I could work on here over the break. Give it a couple more here. Get it cranked up at seven o'clock exactly. We've got about 125 people. We'll get going here in a minute. All right, you can start warming up on your own. As we get ready to get started, I'll give it about till 7.01. I'm going to hit go at 7.01. We're going to start off with some ball mastery to get warmed up, but um, feel free to start getting yourself loose now as we get ready to go here. Hopefully with the space we have, we'll do something a little bit different, a little work on some moves today, um, some attacking moves, depending on time, change of direction moves, but hopefully everything will be fun. Um, a little different, not much different, but a little different, so we'll see how it goes. So at 7.01, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So uh, for those of you that uh, haven't met me yet, I'm Coach Rich. I coached the 2010 girls, the 2010 boys. I coached the um, 07 boys, RDA2. And I also uh, work with the grassroots players. So have been working on technical skills around the Pittsburgh area for the last 15 years. Uh, work a lot of camps. I work our uh, summer camps as well. And have been doing camps and clinics and technical training as well as um, coaching in clubs for about the last 15 years just in Pittsburgh. So happy to be here today. Hopefully you guys will have some fun. Uh, and this is, um, you know, this is something that most of you uh, will be familiar with. The difference is, uh, depending on your age and ability level, is how hard you push yourself. Uh, because you're gonna get out of it what you put into it, so we're hoping to be um, exposed to a lot of stuff and hope you have some fun. So we're gonna, without further ado, I'm gonna get started. We're, gonna, we're just gonna set up a little space about eight yards apart or so. Uh, I've got two dots and I'm just going to start off with some ball mastery. Um, we'll start off just back and forth between the cones. Um, nice and easy to get started and as we go we'll progress. So we'll just start off with some boxing. Just general boxing, knees bent, quick touch, quick touch. Lots of touches, Oops, here we go. Lots of touches. When we get to the end we're going to spin to the right, circle to the right. Go around, go back. When we get to this end, we'll circle to the left. Go back. Face forward. Now we're going to go forward. Now we're going to go backwards. Forward. Backwards. Forwards, backwards. Okay, take a couple of steps if you need to. Get high knees, butt kickers, whatever you need to in space just to get warmed up. As we get going here, high knees, butt kickers. Take 10 seconds to jog around before we start the next one. The next one we're going to do, we're just going to go outside touch, right foot only. So, knees bent to over the ball. And we're just going to go touch, touch, touch as many as you can around the cone. Right foot, right foot, right foot. Switch to the left. As many touches as you can. Nice and easy. Be up on the turn. Back to right foot. Back to left foot. And when you get back, we're going to relax. 
All right, so what we do is every time we change one, we're going to do what I call 10 and 10, which is 10 boxes, 10 soul taps. So get yourself ready, go 10 and 10, ready, get set, go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that's 10 and 10. All right. Next one we're going to do, we're going to go inside out, inside, outside, right foot only. Just nice and easy down the back as we get our heart rate up. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. We'll give it about 30 seconds. I got the clock. Give yourselves about 30 seconds again. Outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside. Lots of touches, count your touches. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and switch to left. Inside, outside, left. Down and back, down and back, inside, outside, left. Go about 30 seconds, watch the clock. See who we have on. Good numbers, like to see it. How's everybody doing? We're up to 200, very good. Oh, 07 girls east, awesome. 07 girls east, good. 04 boys, awesome. All right. All right, so 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and we're going to go 10 and 10. Here we go, 10 boxes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 and 10. All right, so next up, we're just going to go push cut. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Push cut, push cut. 30 seconds and go. Inside, outside, down, inside, outside, back. Push cut, push cut, push cut. Go for 30 seconds. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Pick your head up when you can. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and right into 10 and 10. Here we go, 10 and 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. 10 and 10, good. Got your breath for a second if you need a drink. Get a quick drink, it's important to stay hydrated. This is about 50 minutes long. No need for a sports drink, just water's fine. Water at room temperature is good. No need for any kind of a sports drink with any sugar in it because you really aren't even working an hour, so it should be good with just water. Take a quick sip of water. We're gonna go back, and here we go. Now we're gonna go outside, outside, and a roll across. It looks like this. Outside, outside, roll. Outside, outside, roll. Outside, outside, roll. Or some people do it as an outside, outside, pull. Outside, outside, pull. I like to do it as a roll across. Again, it's outside, outside, roll it across the other foot. Outside, outside, roll it. Outside, outside, roll. Outside, outside, roll. Give yourself 30 seconds and go. Lots of touches, outside, outside. Roll right across your body, go quick. Pick your head up, look around, good balance, good movement. Lots of touches. So we've used the inside, we've used the outside, now we're using the bottom of our foot, and we're using both our left and our right foot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and right to 10 and 10. Here we go. 10 boxes, 10 soul taps. Ready, go. Very good. All right, now we're getting on our ball. The next one we're going to do. We're going to do a push, and with the same foot, circle, push, circle, push, circle, push, circle, and then back. Push, circle, push, circle, push, circle, back, push, circle, push, circle, push, circle. Notice that I'm circling around low around the ball. My foot is going around the ball this way, this way, not up in the air like this. You guys all know that. Give yourselves 30 seconds with this starting now, and 30 seconds and go. Push, circle, push, circle, push, circle. Push yourself to see how many you can get, depending on how much space. For me, maybe I go at a diagonal because it's a little bit wider. Push, circle, push, circle, push, circle, push, circle. You get one more step, one more touch in between each one. And five, four, three, two, and ten and ten. Here we go, ten and ten. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give yourself 20 seconds to catch your breath. If you need a drink, get a swallow. But we're going to go right back at it. So that was a push circle. So now we're going to go a push with our right, step with our left, outside take with our left, step with our right, outside take with our right, step with our left. So it's a step over and a take. Looks like this, from behind. Step, take, step, take, step, take, step, take, and back. Step, take, step, take, step, take, step, take, and back. Step, take, step, take, step, take, step, take. Here we go, 30 seconds. See how many we have on here now. Good deal, the numbers are bumping up. Almost at 200. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, right into 10 and 10. 10 boxes, 10 soul taps, ready and go. Let's go push yourself, push yourself, all right. Give yourself 10 seconds to catch your breath. Every once in a while, check your heart rate. Mine's being pretty good. Not nearly as fit as you guys. All right, the next one we're going to do, we're going to do pull push with the same foot. Pull push with the inside. Pull push with the inside on the move. Pull push, pull push, pull push, pull push, pull push, pull push. If you can go around the corner, do it. Pull push, pull push, pull push, pull push with the inside. Same foot pull, same foot push. And 30 seconds, there you go. Here we go, pull, push, pull, push, pick your head up. Pick your head up, look around, pick your head up, look around. Let's see what we have. This is just a warm up, this is just getting us started. This is just to get lots of touches in five, four, three, two, and let's go to 10 and 10, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, very good. All right, so now I'm gonna do a pull push with the same foot, but now instead of with the inside, we're gonna do it with our toe down and the laces. So it looks like this. Pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push, pull, push. We do this all the time in the RDA. A lot of times we do it those stationary, like this. So we're gonna do it on the move, so it's a bit of a push. Pull it, push it forward, pull it, push it forward, pull it, push it forward, pull it, push it forward. Here we go for 30 seconds, and go. So we have lots of thumbs up, this is good. I hope you're getting your heart rate up and your body temperature up. A lot of times, if you start off with ball mastery, you do the same footwork, it's less of a warm up. You wanna add some dynamic elements to it that you've learned from, from the uh, speed group with Pound Speed with Amy and Mike. So, but when I do ball mastery, or when you do ball mastery, get your heart rate up and get your body temperature up. That's when you can start to operate at peak performance, and that will be a good time to start doing you know, your uh, stretches in your fitness, or your stretches in your, uh, and get loose up. So, here we go. Five, four, three, two, and 10 and 10. Let's go 10 and 10 quickly. All right, once you're done with that, get a quick drink of water. We're gonna take 30 seconds. We're gonna get back, we're gonna do a couple more, and then we're gonna move on to some attacking moves. about 12 minutes in or so, just a nice little warm up, a couple more ball mastery with rolls and then we're going to move on to some attacking moves, which hopefully should be fun. Alright, so here we go. Next up, we're going to do, we've already done this, we're just going to go forward rolls and backward rolls, but like this. Forward roll, solar rolls forward, solar rolls back. Forward, back, pick your head up, look around, see what's going on, check your shoulder, forward, back, look around for 30 seconds, here we go, 30 more seconds, got a nice little clock here that I can watch, keep you guys honest, keep me honest, allow me to catch my breath, here we go, 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right to ten and ten. Here we go. 
All right, very good. All right, the next one we're going to do, we're going to do sole rolls across. So it's like a boxing and a sole roll combined. Bottom of the foot, just a little flick across. Sole rolls down, sole rolls back. Sole rolls down, sole rolls back. Nice and controlled. Pick your head up, look around. Go backwards if you want to. 30 more seconds. Forward and back. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, right into 10, 10. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. Catch your breath. All right, here we go. Now we're going to do some rolls from the side. So, facing our left foot, left shoulder forward, we're going to use our right foot. We're going to go from the back to the front, so it looks like this. One of the things that I like to teach when I do this is not to roll and cross, but to roll and shuffle. So as I roll, I shuffle so my feet don't cross. Left is the same. Feet don't cross. Right, shuffle, shuffle, instead of crossing our legs. So now we're going to go to the left, or to the left. Right foot rolls the ball. We go right to the left. Roll, 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 roll. Back to the left. Roll, 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 roll. Right, roll, 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 roll. Back, left, roll, roll, roll. Here we go. 30 seconds from now, and go. getting warmed up. Push yourselves really hard, guys. It's all up to how hard you guys push it. Hey, Coach Steven's on. Good job. He's great. He's a great trainer, especially with these lives. He's talking to a phone by himself, just like me in my garage. My neighbors told me they think I was a little bit odd. Funny story, I was recording a video in my backyard, and a drone keeps flying overhead. And I know who the kids are. They're from another club. It's pretty funny. So I was putting on a show. All right, here we go. So moving on. We're going to start with some moves that we're going to use to get behind the defender. So we're just going to go, everything's going to be right foot first, then left foot. And it's not that I um, have a preference right and left, it's just right and left. And I want to make sure we're working on both sides, both feet. The best way to develop is to do everything with both feet because a quick show of hands or a thumbs up, raise your hand if you're right footed. Quick, quick, right footed players, raise your hand. Left footed players, raise your hand. How about do, instead of a thumb, do, I don't know, a heart. Yeah, there we go. 
Okay, how about two-footed players? Boom. We want two-footed players, right? We don't want right-footed. We don't want left-footed. I mean, that's what happens. But if you can become a two-footed player, you are ahead of the curve. So what I'm going to set up is I've got a cone or a dot, and I'm going to use a different color, this yellow one. This is just going to be a marker of where I'm going to do the move. And we all know most, most of these moves. Okay, some of them are a little bit different. I'm going to try my best to, I've been really working on my uh, RDA, um, my RDA vocabulary. I've seen and taught these moves with different names and now I'm bringing in, making sure that we're consistent with the foundation of the Riverhounds and what we've done. So I may offer these as different names, but just know that a lot of these are the moves that we do in the academy. So we're going to do it today. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to be between these two cones here. I've got this dot in the middle. As I get to the dot, I'm going to do a move and I'm going to go off to the right or I'm going to go off to the left. When I get to this side, I don't know if you can see me. Yeah, you can. I'm going to come back to the middle. I'm going to go this way, do the same move to the corner. Once I get to the corner, I'm going to come back here in the middle, start again, go in, do the move, go out, get here, go to the middle, go in, do the move, and go out. So I'm going to start with a sequence of moves that build upon each other. And a lot of what I, the way I teach is I teach moves that progress a bit. So the first one, you may have heard it as a fake and take or a lean and push, a dummy step, a hip swivel, or rumenega. All the same move. It's very simple. As we get to this cone or the defender, I'm going to step really hard to my left, dip my shoulder. I want to dip the shoulder to sell the move, and then I'm going to push it away with speed into this open space. Okay? So, again, nice and slow, and then we'll go fast. And you guys can do it on your own. You all know this. We go step and push. And the different, what we want to make sure that we're doing, when we do this move and we step, first we sell the move. Right? If we lean hard this way, the defender's going to lean this way. It's going to create that space that we're going to take with that outside touch. We want to go away with speed. The idea behind these moves is when you get behind, when you do that move, you create space for yourself and time for yourself. What do you think you should do with that space or the time? First thing you should do after you do the move is, do I have space to shoot? Not a shot, then do I have space to pass? The third choice is, do I have space to dribble? So think about this when you get the ball. Can I shoot? Can I pass? Do I need to dribble? Because the idea is use these moves to create and build into your creativity so you create time and space for yourself. Maybe you draw another defender over from a teammate, which allows you to pass. So all we're going to do is this. We're going to go down to the, to the middle. We're going to go out. Lean and push out with speed. Stop. Come back. Here we go. Lean and push out with speed. Get it under control. And we're going to go back and forth. Here we go. Lean and push. Talk to the right. Step left, go right, lean, push, out to the, and stop the ball. All right, so we're going to do this with our right foot. We're going to do three to the right, step, go, and then we're going to go three to the left. So three to the right, then we're going to go three to the left. When we go left, it's the same move. We go here, we step right, push out to the left, stop it, come back central. Go here, step right, go left, stop here, go central. So three to the right. Three to the left. We're going to go for about a minute. See how many of these you can get done in a minute. Again, it's a lean and push. Rumenega. Fake and take. I think there's another couple names for it. So we go out, we step, tip, and we go. Service to the left. We go out here, we step, and we go. Okay. Good. All right. So take your time. All right, here we go. Next one we're going to do. So now, we step behind the ball and we push it out. So now our defenders think they figured us out. So we're just going to add a move that we do all the time here, which is a circle. So now as we go out, we're going to step hard, circle with the right, go out to the left. So we go step left, circle right, go left. Again, step left, circle right, go left. And again, we want to circle around the ball. Step left, circle around the front of the ball, drive the defender this way, and we go out. One more time. So as I step, the defender leads. I go this way, the defender leads, and I'm out into space. So now as soon as they think they figured out my favorite move with the lead and push, I add a wrinkle, I go left, right, left. So here we go. We're going to go three to the right, step left, go, oh, sorry, 
Step left, scissor right, go left. And then three to the left. Step right, scissor left, go right. Gee whiz. So, ready? One this way, three this way. Step left, scissor right, go left. After three, step right, scissor right, or step right, scissor left, go right. So three, step left, scissor right, go left. And then three, step right, scissor left, go right. We're gonna do three and then three. Get your own pace going. See how many you can get. We're gonna go for 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one. And here we go, 30 seconds. So how many we have on? 185. Who's the first draft pick? Anyone know? Just kidding. I think the NL draft is tonight online somehow. All right. We got 10 more seconds. And that is the take, or is this um, circle and take. So we step, we circle, we take. All right, end time. All right, so now we have the defender. Confused, right? We, have, we lean this way and we go this way. Now we lean this way, we circle this way and go this way. So now we're gonna double them up. Okay, so now we're gonna do a double lean and push. So it looks like this. If I'm going to my left, I'm gonna go step left, step right, take left. Looks like this. I go out here, I go step, step, and I'm out. In the middle, get the defender going. Step left, step right, go left. Again. Step left, step right, go left. Try to keep the ball moving. Boom, step left, go down, go with the way. Four, step left, go right, go left. Here we go. So do three to the right, three to the left. So double step, so left, right, left, and then right, left, right, a double. Do that for 30 seconds starting right now. Not quite the same as High Mark Stadium or Coriopolis. The garage that I got going on here. All right. Give us 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, the next one we're gonna do is just a double circle. Okay, so we're gonna come out here, circle right, circle left, go to the right. Again, circle left, circle right, go left, okay? Right, left, right, left, right, right. So, right, left, right. Three times. And then left, right, left. Three times. Left, right, left. Right, left, right. Three and three for 30 seconds starting right now. Here we go, 10 more seconds. All right, when you get back, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's get the heart rate back up with 10 and 10. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Get a swallow of water and come right back. So we did a lean and push. A circle take, a double lean and push, and a double circle. So the next one we're going to do is an outside in step over. Okay, get a quick drink when we come back, we're going to get going here in a second. So now what we're going to do is as you go out, we're going to step across the ball. So I'm going to step across the ball like I'm going this way with an outside touch with the same foot I stepped with. So my stepping leg goes over the ball on the out, inside, or outside in. Again, a scissor is, or a circle is, inside out. The step over is outside in, and we take it away. So the idea is, again, here's the defender. I'm gonna draw the defender this way, and take the space behind him. Okay, so we're gonna go three to the right. We're gonna dribble out, step right, go to the left really quick, come back. Here we go, step right, go to the left, three and three, 
three to the right, three to the left for 30 seconds starting in five, four, three, two, one, 30 seconds, as many as you can, three and three. Ten more seconds. See if you can get one more or two more in the ten seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, time. Ten and ten, really quick. Let's go. Ten and ten. Here we go. All right. So when we count down, when the coach counts down to ten, let me tell you what coaches are looking for. Not just me, but all coaches. When coaches start the ten-second countdown, we pay attention. So there's some people that are like, okay, good, I'm tired, I'm gonna catch my breath, and they're gonna quit. Maybe three seconds, four seconds, five seconds in. We're watching to see the kids that push themselves and see how many more they can get in 10 seconds. It's very difficult when you're on to be motivated. So what you need to do, or what I suggest you do, is you challenge yourself. Set yourself goals for time, challenge yourself to beat your time, beat the number of attempts you do in the time period every time you go. Just like you try to get your juggles higher and increase your juggles, you wanna also get Increase the how many times you can do the move. What I like to tell the younger ones in particular is first you master, get the steps right, and then you go faster. So the more you repeat these same moves, the better they become and the more natural they are. So when you're in a game and you receive the ball and you see a defender coming to your left, you know, or to your right, you know that you need to go to the left to get out of the way. So think about all the moves you learned. Here they come this side. I'm going to scissor this way and go out that way. Or circle this way and go out that way. All right, so good. So we did lean and push, we did circles, we did doubles, we did step overs. So now this is a super simple one that I think people miss and I love it. It's the same thing we do where we go inside, outside, or cut, push. And all we're gonna do as we go here, as we get towards the defender, here's the defender, I'm gonna cut it, take it, okay? Again, simple move, we go here, we go to the defender, we go cut, take, and we go into speed. Even though we see this defender sees you shift, Okay, as you get here, we go cut, boom, we go out in the space with speed. Okay, one more time. Here, cut, take, with speed. Okay, and ultimately with more space, you want to do that cut, that take, and we want to get off into space, three or four yards behind the defender, get rid of the ball. Okay, so we're going to go three and three for 30 seconds starting right now. Three right to left, and then three left to right. Here we go, 30 seconds and go. See how many you get. Boom. Left to right. Left to right. Right to left. Speed out. Slow it out. Left to right. Three times. Right to left. Three times. All right. Five, four, three, two. Let's go right back into 10 and 10. Every time we start to feel relaxed, we're going to get our heart rate back up with 10 and 10. Ready to go. 10 and 10. Here we go. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. Here we go. All right. So that was a cut, boom, and a push into space. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do what's called the Matthews, which is an inside cut and an outside take with the same foot. So it looks like this. I like to add a hop as I go here. I go cut, take. It's also called a drag push. We go here, we go cut, hop, take. Notice that we want to hop. Go here, cut, hop, take. Left side, same thing. Cut, hop, take. Cut, hop, take. Three to the right, three to the left for 30 seconds starting right now. Little touch in, hop, big touch out with speed. Little touch, big touch. Sir Stanley Matthews' favorite move. Boom, inside, outside. You can do it as a big one cutter or one piece snake as well. And time, all right, good, 10 and 10. Quickly with the 10 and 10. And relax, give yourself 10 seconds to shake it out. You guys should be good, you're young. You're fit. The next one we're going to do, similar to an inside and then an outside, because we're going to go this way and this way, 
but now we're going to do it with the roll. So as we get to our defender, we're going to roll hop, take an outside touch with the same foot we rolled it with. So again, we're going to go here, we're going to roll hop, take. If I'm right, roll across, hop, take out with the outside touch. Roll, hop, take with speed. Left side, same thing. Roll, hop, take with speed. Roll, hop, take with speed. Okay, let's go three and three. Three right, three left. Starting right now. 30 seconds. See how many you get. Let's go, let's go. See how many you get. Push yourselves. Haven't gotten hard yet. These are still pretty easy stuff. Still pretty easy stuff. Five, four, three, two, one. And let's go 10 and 10, really quickly. 10 and 10. 10 boxes, 10 soul taps. Keep the heart rate up. 10 and 10. Give yourselves a slip of water and get right back. All right, so now we started introducing the roll. Everything was a step around, a step over, a lean push. Put our foot on the side of the ball, inside and the outside. Now we just introduced the roll. Next one we're gonna do, we're gonna roll with the right, take with the left. So as I go here, I'm gonna rip it across, push it out with the inside of my left foot. So rip it right, push it left. So we go rip, push. Here comes the defender. We go boom, boom, around the defender. Quick in and out. Great move for a nutmeg. We're like boom, boom, right through their legs and around them. Especially in foot tall. Boom, boom, right around them. Left foot, same thing. Boom, right around them. Boom, boom, right around them. Three and three for 30 seconds starting right now. 37 minutes into the workout, almost 38. Not bad. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go 10 and 10. 10 boxes, 10 soul taps. Good. All right. So that was two footed. We'll roll with two feet now. Okay, so the next one we're going to do is called a roll and then a step over. So now what we do is if we roll with our right, we're going to step over with our left. Once again, I get here. I'm going to roll, step, out to my left. Roll with my right, step over with my left, go out to the right. Roll, step, boom. Roll, step, and we're out this way. Get the defender thinking, we're going this way, boom, then we go this way, and then we're out this way. The ball just rolls straight across, we step around it, our body doesn't make the defender hesitate. So, here we go. Then it's the left side, roll, step, out to the right side. So the important touch is the touch after the roll. So after we roll and we step, we're still taking a touch with the outside foot, pushing it away with the stepping leg. So roll, step, outside take with speed. Let's go three and three for 30 seconds, starting right about now. Go three and three. Three each side. Just keep switching for 30 seconds. Three and three for 30 seconds. Three and three for 30 seconds. Push yourself. Get it down first. First you master, then you go faster. Hopefully anybody that's over 12 or 13 should have seen most of these. Um, and even some of the players at 10, uh, at least the ones I coach, have seen most of these as well. So a lot of this is just repetition and review. Uh, we've been doing a lot of great workouts for fitness. We've been doing a lot of great workout. For uh, ball mastery, this is just mixing it smooth. Ready? And five, four, three, two, and back to ten and ten. All right. So that was a roll and a step over. Okay. The last, the next one we're gonna do is called. I call it an over Mars because that's all I know. And we're gonna do a step over the ball. We're gonna flick it with our heel, take it away with the outside touch. Okay. In pieces. Go here. We go step, flip, take. 
Step, flick, take. Step, flick, take. To the right. Step right, flick behind left, take away with the outside, touch to the right. Okay, then it's fast to the right. The left foot, same thing. We're going to step over the ball with our left, flick it with the right, take it away with the left side of the left. So let's go three to the right, three to the left. Give you a couple more tries to get it. Show it one more time. Again, most of you guys know this. As we go out, we go step, flick. 30 seconds. Again, challenge yourself. If these are new to you, work on these if you like them on your own. The idea here is let's go, we got uh, 10 more seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. Go 10 and 10. All right, after your 10 and 10, we're gonna take about 30 seconds to a minute to get a drink of water, take a break, stretch it out if you need to, move your legs a little bit, shake it out, whatever you need to do to keep yourself warm, keep yourself loose. 42 minutes in, a couple more minutes to go. We're supposed to go about 50 minutes, so we're almost there, we're almost home. So just real quick, while we're getting a drink, the moves we worked on, we did a lean and push, or a fake and take. We did a double lean and push. Okay, we did a circle take, we did a double circle take. We did a step over, take away, both with our left and our right foot. We did a, a cut, push, so cut, push. We did the Matthews, inside, outside. We did the roll take, or Ramos, roll, take, okay. We did the roll it, take it away with the other foot. We did the roll, step over, oops. We did the roll, step over, boom, step over. And we did the over Mars, which is a step over, a little croy flick and an outside take. So we did all those, that's one, two, three, four, I don't know, six, seven or eight, nine moves or so. And the idea here is to expose you to enough moves that you can learn and figure out which ones work for you. Um, the expectation is if we teach 40 or 50 moves on an annual, on a seasonal year, the idea is not for you to master all 40 or 50 moves, but it's to get competent at them so you can execute them with both feet, but then really try the ones and figure out the ones that you like to use because they could become your signature moves. We talk about creative players all the time um, and kids lacking um, creativity in the United States, which I think is not true because a lot of kids know these moves. It's a matter of just being confident enough to execute them. Um, and a lot of times we're very good as a club of teaching you guys the technical skills and we work on that every week uh, and we really we really focus on incorporating that into game. What that really means is that it's, it's your responsibility to take what you're learning from us and do that on your own between practices so that we can spend more time advancing the game to the next level for you, teaching you the game, teaching you the principles of play, teaching you the patterns of play and the movement of the ball. Your responsibility is based on what your role is. That's where, that's where we wanna help you guys learn. We're gonna explain and show you the technical moves that you need and then it's going to be on you to be able to, to practice those on your own time and get very good at them and then try them out in training try them out in games try them out all the time so you get comfortable with the ones that you like the creativity is really a mastery of a move and it's the ability to execute that move based on having a mastery of it and the confidence to pull it off right if you've got the guts to try a Neymar rainbow flick in a game good for you especially if you pull it off and you know what when you're younger it's not going to hurt anything it's just going to build your confidence if it, if it, if it uh, if it comes out. Um, but that doesn't mean that you want to not pass the ball when you see an open player. That means that you want to use the skill to create that time, to create that space, to then combine with another teammate. So this is where you get stuck and we can get you out of it, okay? So there we go. There's a bunch of different attacking moves. Okay, so the next, for the next, uh, 744 for about the next five or six minutes, we are gonna do an exercise where it's gonna be for you to do time, okay? So if you've got it still set up where you've got a cone in each corner and a cone in the middle. Okay, what we're gonna do for 30 seconds is you're going to see how many moves you can do. So every time you get to the middle, you wanna do a move and come out to one side, get to the corner turn, go back, execute a move, go out to the one side, pump, come back, execute a move, come out to a corner, right? So we're gonna go 30 seconds, all lean and push, okay? So how many times in 30 seconds can you go out, can you can lean and push? 
So we're going to go 30 seconds. What I'm going to ask you to do after the 30 second count, middle, corner, middle, corner. You can go left, you can go right, whatever you want. We're just going to use this as a practice round. Once you're done with that, I want to go in and see you put in really quickly how many you got. Let's see who's got a lot. Ready? We're going to go for 30 seconds. We're going to go lean and push only for 30 seconds starting in three, two, one, go. See how many you get. Count them up and then we'll report your scores in a second. 30 seconds. Too bad I can't watch. I wish I could see, but I can't. Okay, we're halfway down. 15 seconds. 15 seconds. How many more can you get in 15 seconds? Here we go. 15 seconds. Count down from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. All right, quickly put your score in. I'm going to check it out. How many did you get in 30 seconds? Can we put it in real quick? If your phone's nearby. Let's go. Uh-oh. Are we lagging? Eight. There we go. Six. Eleven. Eight. Twelve. Ooh, twelve. Good. Seven. Ten. Wow, good numbers. Good numbers. Good numbers. Again, we master before we go faster. Good, get the number in quick. We're going to go next up. We're going to do the circle take for 30 seconds, and we're going to see who the high score is. 12, 15. Awesome, Izzy. 15, Lola. Good job. 10, 16. Wow, here we go. 13, 8. All right, I think the highest number was 16. Just for the record, I got 17. I'm just kidding. That's how it goes with the younger kids. Um, but, yeah, good job. So anything, anything, depending on your age, you get 6, 7, you know, or eight in 30 seconds, being able to execute the move depending on how much space there is. You get over 10, you're golden, you get to 15, you're a rock star. All right, so the next one we're gonna do is a circle take. Again, 30 seconds. So we go corner to corner. Good start here, any corner. We're gonna go circle, take out to the corner. We get to the corner, we turn, we go back. Circle take, you can go to any corner, any corner. We're gonna go for 30 seconds starting in three, two, one, go. Circle take. How many can you get in 30 seconds? I want to see the scores. Here we go. Halfway done. I'll give you the countdown from 10. Keep going. Keep pushing yourself. Keep pushing yourself. Here we go. In 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and time. All right. Quickly, give me a count. Give me a shout. Let's see what we got. Let's check it out again here. I hope I don't have a lag. I moved the Wi-Fi thing right here in my garage. 12, 14, 10, 12. All right, we're getting there. Tiago with 12, nicely done. Here we go, 11, 16, well done. Mr. Betters with 10. A goalkeeper with nine, nice. 13. 13, really good numbers, really good numbers. That means you're pushing yourself. 17, awesome, very good. Well done, guys, well done, that's fantastic. All right, so the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do one more and then, holy cow, it's gonna be, we're gonna be almost done, so we'll do some freestyle. So the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna do a step over outside and step over. So as we go here to the middle, we're gonna step, we're gonna push it out to the cone, we get to the cone, we're gonna turn. Okay, we're gonna go for 30 seconds, as many step over takes, Again, the stepping leg is also the taking leg. So if I step across to the right, I go out to the right with the outside touch. So we're gonna go for 30 seconds again. We're gonna see what kind of scores we get. Starting in five, four, three, two, and go. How many get in 30 seconds? Fourteen for Matt. Good job. Twelve, fifteen. Awesome. And five, four, three, two, one and a half, and time. All right. All right. So how many do we get? Put it in there. Getting a little more difficult. See how we got. Ooh, how many do we have? This will be the last. We'll do one more after this. And we'll have a cool down. 14, 11, 13. Very good, very good. Very good. 
14, 15, 15, nice, 17, whoa! That had to be a little thin, right? I'm, bet, I'm guessing. All right, good job. 13, 15, 14. Very good, very good, very good. All right, last one we're gonna do for this one, and then we'll have a little bit of a cool down exercise. This one's freestyle. Okay, so we learned lean and push, double lean and push, circle, double circle, scissor, step, I mean circle, I mean step over, not scissor, I mean yeah, circle, not scissor, step over, cut, push, Matthews, Ramos, roll, take, um, roll, step over, all of those moves. It's gonna be freestyle. We're gonna go for 30 seconds, we're gonna do two rounds, okay? 30 seconds of as many of the moves you can do in 30 seconds. So not how many total moves, but I want you to do how many different moves you can do in 30 seconds. Does that make sense? So a right-footed move and a left-footed move count as one move each. So if I do a Matthews to the right, that's one. If I do a Matthews to the left, I'm gonna count that as two. So in 30 seconds, how many of the different moves that we just went over can you execute? Not doing the same one twice, unique moves. This will be interesting, we're gonna go for 30 seconds. So think about it, get a plan in your head. As you go into this, think about what you're gonna do. We have got five seconds to get ready. Here we go, four, three, two, one, and go. 30 seconds, get creative, pull them all out, see how many you can do. I wanna know how many different moves you executed. Right foot counts as one, left foot counts as one. So we learned five moves times two feet, I'll count that as 10. Here we go, here we go, we're halfway there, halfway there. Good job, let's go keep it up, keep it up and see what you can do. 10 seconds, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and time. This should be really interesting, I wanna see how we do here. Let's go, put it down, let's see the scores. See, let's see the scores. I feel so good, I feel good too, good, I'm glad. All right, here we go. What do we got? I'm hoping there's not a lag. 15, well done. 10, well done. 10 different moves? Wow, seven, good job. Very good. 12, that could be six moves times two feet. Very good, guys, very good. That's really good. 11, very good. That shows your creativity, that the, the ability to think ahead and get to the next move in 30 seconds is not as easy as you would think. Very good, let's see some more scores. 12, 12, 11, 12, 14. Wow, very good. 10. Very impressed, guys. I'm very impressed with you guys. You guys have been working hard over this break. When you come back, look out, everybody, because we're going to be kicking some butt. All right, very good. All right, next one we're going to do. So now we're going to go freestyle. Again, 30 seconds, but it's any move. You could do the same move for 30 seconds. I don't care. You could do different moves. It's going to be on you. So there's two parts of it. One is, because it's freestyle and you get to pick, dealer's choice, I call it, challenge yourself in a couple of ways. Maybe challenge yourself, not just to get the, how many you can get, how many different moves you get, how many different feet you use, things like that. So this is just count the number of moves you execute in 30 seconds. I'm really interested to see how you do it, but push yourself too. So don't just challenge yourself to get the highest score. Challenge yourself to not only get the highest score, but get a high score while being very creative and trying different things with different feet. Okay, so we're gonna go 30 seconds, starting in about five seconds, four, three, two, and go. Come on, let's see what you got. Let's go. 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Here we go. I'm going to give you the 10-second countdown. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, to time. All right, let's see. Let's check it out. Let's check out the numbers. How creative did we get? Let's see. Come come on. Put them up on the board here. Put them up on the board here. We're going to cool down for about two minutes and we're going to be done. 11. Very good. 9. 14. Wow, well done. 12. 13. 13. 13. 12. 17, well done. 10, 16, 14. Very impressive, guys. Very impressive numbers. Some very impressive numbers. So we're going to kind of cool down the way we started. We're going to do about two minutes of ball mastery just to kind of cool us down. Um, and, then, uh, and then we're going to let you go. So first thing we're going to do nice and easy, just in space. It doesn't have to go between two cones anywhere. We're just going to start boxing around nice and easy. Pick your head up, 
Nice and easy, nice and slow. You've been pushing yourself a little bit. Stay in place, let's circle around to the right. Once you get to the right, we're gonna go forward. Stay in place, circle around to the left. Now we're gonna go forward. Now we're gonna go backwards. Good, forward. Good, all right, so now, next up. You're just gonna go nice and easy, outside touch with the right foot. Outside, 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 outside. Every time you get to a corner, do a cut, switch feet. Outside, 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 cut. Switch feet, outside, 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 cut. Back and forth, every time you get to a corner, you need to turn to a cut back, switch your feet. Five, four, three, two, one, good time. All right, next what we're gonna do, we're gonna go inside, outside, the same foot. So we go inside, outside, inside, outside, same foot. Right foot, get to a side, switch to left. Inside, outside, inside, outside. Switch sides. Inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Switch feet, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. All right, catch your breath. Again, nice and easy. We're just gonna go push, cut, push, cut, push, cut, push, cut, push, cut, push, cut. Push, cut, push, cut. Push, cut, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Nice and easy, let's go back to boxing. Nice and easy, just box around, box around, box around. If you were breathing heavy, you should be breathing a little less heavy now. This is helping you get your heart rate down a little bit. Still moving. Don't want to go to a complete stop. Right foot outside touches only. Left foot outside touches only. Right foot. Left foot. Back to boxing. Okay, now we're just gonna do rolls. Right, right to left, rolls, back foot, back foot. Right foot, right foot, right foot, switch to the left. Left, 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 left. left. Left, left, back to right, 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 back to left, 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 back to boxing. Nice and easy. Calm your breath down. Ten seconds, nine seconds, eight seconds, seven seconds, six, five, four, three. Two, one. All right, that's a wrap. Thank you guys for hanging in there. I hope you had fun, and uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, hopefully that uh, you get to see more of me soon. Hopefully out on the pitch uh, in the stadium or at Coriopolis once this thing lifts. We've really missed you guys. That's one of the things that the coaches talked about is uh, how much not only do we miss the process, but we miss you guys. You guys are doing an excellent job. Keep posting this stuff on social media for us to see and to share and to like. We have some really great things coming, very exciting things for you guys. This is the place to be. I came here after running a club for 15 years, and I couldn't be happier to be here. So thank you guys very much. I will see you guys next time. Peace.